Trek, Trek, did we miss the beginning? No. Because you know I can't miss the beginning of a show. Donkey. Some people think it's all right. You know, they show up like 10, 15 minutes late all the time. Donkey. Oh, not me. Uh-uh. I got to see it all. Even the preview. Especially the preview. Donkey. Look, it hasn't even started yet. Okay? Just sit down. Well, okay then. Donkey. You're sitting on my lap. Oh, sorry, Shrek. Our tale begins with an ending. Summoning the last of his strength, the dying King Harold, lovingly named Shrek as the heir to the throne of far, far away. You are the next heir to the throne. But the worried Shrek, thinking of the duties, the fame, and the discomforts that came with the throne, beseeched the king to pass the crown to someone more worthy. Come on, anybody, think! With his dying breath, the Frog King then bestowed upon Shrek a glimmer of hope. There is another. But Shrek, Donkey, and Puss in Boots would need to set sail to find Fiona's long-lost cousin, Arthur, and place him upon the throne. Fearlessly, then, Shrek raced towards the pirate-infested docks to begin his quest. Uh, or at least he would have if he didn't have an important royal duty to perform first. Oh, come on now, Shrek. It can't be that bad. Ooh, that, it's, no, it's not so bad, Shrek. It's, uh, slenderizing. You look like a royal something. All right, that's enough. I'm not wearing this. My Lord Prince, it is time for the royal buffet. I'm not going. I'm afraid, my lord, that you have no choice in this matter. Royal attendance, attack formation, Scepter 12, bravo! Get him, Shrek! It's ogre time! It's fairy dust, Shrek! Grab him! Thunder attack, Shrek! Oh, nice one, Shrek! Flash the ice cup to Shrek, that'll make him mad. You know they spent days on that. Ice sculpture? Oh, a souvenir mug! You're definitely gonna want that. You gotta bring home gifts for the wives, you know. Uh. Ooh, ooh, I know! Smash the table, Shrek! Come <laughs> on. 